Okay, we're going to run through doing some programming on the MC1, which is it's quite a bit different from the um, GM70. What you need to know about the uh, MC1 is that um, you have a dedicated uh, functions labeled across here. The blue enter key allows you to access any of the functions that are printed in blue underneath it. And then to change values, you're going to use the data increment and decrement switch. So let's just check the tuning first. And to do that, we hit the tuning switch. It should mark the tune. We hit that and we play. And on the MC1, the idea is to get the, you have this upside down U. You want to get two little legs to show up underneath it. If it flashes to the left, it's a little bit uh, flat. And if it flashes to the right, it's a little bit sharp. And again, we have an A440 display. So that's a, that's a pretty good tuning, and we hit the uh, enter button again, and it'll take us out of tuning mode. If you want to change program, simply push the program key, and the display starts to flash, and uh, uh, you can hear the programs change while we... Uh and again, we push the uh, enter button to take us out of the... Uh, program mode. As I mentioned earlier, the MC1 has very limited external MIDI control. And uh, one drawback to the MC1 is it does not transmit MIDI volume when you move the volume knob on the guitar. Now the GM70 does this by default and you don't have to program anything on the GM70. It is the way that the uh, knob is always assigned on the GM70. When you turn the volume knob on the guitar, it transmits MIDI volume. On the MC1, when you turn the volume knob on the guitar, uh, it does uh, change the volume of some voltage-controlled amplifier circuits inside of the MC1. So you could take the physical output from your synthesizer, run it through the MC1, and then take the output of the MC1 and you know run that back into your uh, amplifier mixing console. But it's it's a somewhat awkward procedure. So the default um, controller usually for the knob is set to LFO. So I'm going to play a little bit. And you can hear that we're bringing uh, the low frequency oscillator in and out, but it, it might be more practical for me to assign that to volume. So here's how we assign the control knob uh, for volume. We're going to press enter and assign together. Okay. And we can see the display is flashing and it's showing controller one, which is the uh, modulation uh, control. And I'm going to press increment till I get it to seven, which is volume control. And then I'll hit enter again. I'll do some more playing. And now we want to check to see that we have the uh, uh, control arm assigned to be pitch bend. So this time we hold down the enter key and press the control arm uh, button. So we hit enter and control arm. And now it shows that the arm is set to PB pitch bend. Press the enter key again. And you can hear that by moving the uh, arm up and down, I'm bending pitch. Uh, we could also assign the pitch bend arm to be a uh, modulation. So we'll hit enter and assign. And we've assigned that to controller one. And now when I move the bender arm, I'm adding in modulation. 